How's it going, everybody? Uh, how's it going? We're, uh, we're at home. We're, uh, this is our... Well, it's almost a month. Just two days short of a month that we've been home. Uh, been doing a lot of gardening. A lot of thinking, a lot of reading. Uh, just finished the catcher in the rye. My God. Holden Caulfield. Uh, it was great to go visit him again. Uh, it's been a real time of kind of going back to stuff that we haven't touched on for a long time and, and uh, it's a wonderful time to just think and reflect and of course there's a lot of sadness and there's a lot of, uh, we've got some friends who, who have, the, uh, have the disease and we're in constant contact with them and so uh, I reckon sort of singing a few songs is, a, is probably a good idea uh, just to keep in contact with everybody so all of our friends out there all of our friends in Italy and Spain and China and America and uh, all over, uh, or Germany and Sherlock, everywhere, uh, and Ireland. Sing a few songs. And uh, before we do that, open a little wine. Um, this wine I got in France when I was over there in Paris last year, and it's a really nice bottle, and I've been saving it, but I didn't know what for. And so, We'll open it now, and uh, maybe we can share a glass. And, uh, oh, it would be wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> it's not moving. This is from, uh, oh, wow, 98. Oh, I have to use the other one. Um, I'll do it after the song, I suppose. Okay, what to say? We have a list of songs that people have been asking, uh, asking for today, uh, but I'll start with this because this is kind of how I feel. Come on, my little ruin, won't you open up and let me in? Time is not that kind, but you're still standing here. Leave a light on in your window, won't you let me see a sign? It's gonna take more than smoke and mirrors now for me this time. Come on now, Mr. Sorrow, won't you sing yourself a different song? The melody that made you is now a worn out sing along. Oh yeah, everybody's looking at you, but I can't stand to watch. I've seen the scene come and go too much. And oh, how you struggle through the hours When your sorrow lead in the way And as yesterday among the cowards You were let them win Won't you take the time you were given? You promised it to yourself. Oh, you could stand among the best of them if you could hold your own. But no one's gonna do it for you now, but you and you alone. And oh, how you struggle with your power. Back to 
tied to the wall. And as you are counted among the cowards, they didn't see the What are you doing? What are you doing? So I wrote that song in, uh, in New York. Uh, I remember particularly the walk from uh, Fifth Street in Bowery up as far as uh, the Strand Bookshop. Uh, uh, and uh, it's a song that I, that I very much associate with, with my time in New York and my time there and uh, a couple of friends and myself who were probably living uh, quite hard at the time um, and so it's a song that always brings me back and I love when it can, a song can do that it can bring you right back to a, to a particular moment in your life and a particular moment in a day in your life um, and I suppose I'm thinking a lot about our friends in New York and thinking about Hal Wilner in particular and uh, Hal's a wonderful wonderful man and whenever he called you. It was a very infectious feeling. He he always got you very excited about whatever project he was working on, and I'm very very sad and sorry for him for his family. And uh, and so I was thinking about him singing that, and uh, I want to sing this song for uh, another New York friend, uh, uh, Ezra Ezra Caldwell. Uh, he's up there on the up there on the wall. Uh, and this is for Ezra. You know, it's it's funny how a city can be. A city can mean something to you through the people that you meet. And for me, my whole relationship with New York when I was living there was really based around my friendship with Ezra. Um, Ezra had very similar interests to myself as well. He used to fix bikes. Uh, and I suppose, uh, for those of you who don't know, the name of the band, The Frames, comes from fixing bicycles when I was a kid. And uh, our house in Ballymun became known as the house uh, with all the frames in the garden. Uh, the frames house, uh, the house with the frames, and so uh, Ezra had the same passion, except he was uh, way beyond my uh, way beyond my skills. He could build a bike from scratch, which was really uh, an incredible gift that I got to witness up close. And uh, I have two bikes here. I'm glad to say, made by Ezra. And um, when Ezra was 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 dying with um, colon cancer, I. Uh, uh, I found myself one evening really grappling with the reality of what was happening to him and, uh, and this song came out and uh, the song was really kind of written almost from his perspective to his, to his uh, then young wife, uh, Hilary. Uh, so this is, for, this is for Ezra and for all of our friends in New York. It's called The Song of Good Hope. We're gonna make it Across this river alive You'll need to think like a boat And go with the tide And I 
know where you've been Has really left you in doubt Of ever finding a harbor Of figuring this out And you're going to need All the help you can get So lift up your arms now And reach for it And reach for it And take your time, babe it's not as bad as it seems you'll be fine, babe It's just some rivers and streams in between You and where you wanna be And watch the signs now You'll know what they mean, you'll be fine now Just stay close to me and make good hope Walk with you through everything La -da -da -da. La -da -da -da. And take your time, babe It's not as bad as it seems You'll be fine, babe it's just some rivers and streams in between Where you are and wanna be And watch the signs now You'll know what they mean, you'll be fine now Just stay close to me and make good hope Walk with you through everything Made a song of good hope Walk with you through everything Now hold on there and I'll just go get the, the bottle open And when I wrote that song, I was living in a, in a 21 Bleecker Street. Uh, it was an apartment that used to be a, a women's refuge. It was, uh, it was called the Florence Mission. Uh, it was a really amazing building, but the guy who ran it was a, was a priest. And he... Um, it was, it, so it, it, if the women weren't in by midnight, he would close the door so they'd have to stay out for the night. And each night he would say prayers inside in the... Uh, in the apartment, in the, in the building. And so the midnight prayer was kind of the time when they'd decide to close the doors, maybe for the evening. Um, and so it's funny, whenever I sing that song, I also think about that, think about the, 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 you know, the prayers at midnight in that particular uh, place. And I'm gonna pour one, I'm gonna pour one for me, pour one for Myra. And I'm going to pour one for the people who aren't here, the people who, who uh, may need it, who aren't in our presence. Here you go, Myra. That's Myra on the camera, everybody. Give us the camera, Myra. Come on. There's Myra now. She's filming and everything. Oh, you might. What, tell you what, let's, should we go this way? They keep telling me. Oh, do they? Yeah. Okay, they my apologies, me, everybody. Yeah. Okay. Actually, Myra, yeah. while we're here, would you, uh, would you give us something? Well, I would. Okay. Um, this is my Sarah to everybody. Hello. Um, uh, this is a poem I discovered this very morning, and I read it to Glenn, and Glenn loved it too. So I'd like to share it with all of you. And I got it from a site called 
brain pickings. It's a wonderful site. Um, it's called Antidotes to Fear of Death. Uh, and it's by the poet and... Um, was she a physicist? I don't know. Um, Rebecca Elson. Antidotes to Fear of Death. Sometimes, as an antidote to fear of death, I eat the stars. Those nights, lying on my back, I suck them from the quenching dark till they are all, all inside me, pepper hot and sharp. Sometimes, instead, I stir myself into a universe still young, still warm as blood. No outer space, just space. The light of all the not yet stars drifting like a bright mist. And all of us and everything already there, but unconstrained by form. And sometimes it's enough to lie down here on earth beside our long ancestral bones to walk across the cobble fields of our discarded skulls, each like a treasure, like a chrysalis, thinking, whatever left to these husks flew off on bright wings. Thank you, Myra. Oh, thank you. Right. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> This seems kind of maybe like a uh, uh, cheers. Seems like maybe a good idea to uh, cheers. 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 Time will be the hero once again. Time will lift you up. And I wonder if he's ever called my name Time will be the heat I want to get One day when we're long past this we'll laugh about it Sometimes you gotta be a river and go around it Just put a little distance between your world and his Time will be your best friend when it comes to this It's what you get for loving someone else's man Burn that bridge, break that bond and change your plan If that boy don't want to stay, let him go Time will be the best friend that you know Time will be the healer once again Time will lift you up and out of this I wonder if he's ever come again Time will be the healer once again Keep your friends and neighbors close at hand Stay busy with your work and don't give in To the bottom of your self-defeating games Time will be the healer once again
During, during that song there, uh, I, I noticed in the garden, uh, there's, a, there's a line in that song, keep your friends and neighbours close at hand. And uh, <laughs> I just noticed uh, Mark, Mark Geary, is, uh, who is our neighbour. Marky. Hi, Mark. Hey there. How's it going? You were very loud. I, I, I <laughs> was playing very loud music. <laughs> That's Mark and Kes. Mark, you've got a song. Will you give us a song? Give a song. Oh, amazing. You. Give Thanks, Mark. <laughs> we gotta keep the distance. Yep. Uh oh. She, Kes, doesn't, Kes, she doesn't have to keep the distance. Kes, keep the distance. <laughs> Social distancing. Come on.
Ah, Mark, thank you. Thank you, guys. Thanks for the bread. Mark's been baking the most amazing bread, and we've been, we've been living like kings. He's uh, kings and queens. He's our baker, our baker, baker neighbor. <laughs> it's nice out there. There's a red sky. Oh yeah. yeah. Let's have a look. Can you see it? Can you see it? There's the Irish sunset, lads. Right, well I do it. Myra, I'll give the camera back to you. Yeah. Mark, thank you for that. Yeah. You'll have a cup of tea. I will later, yeah. 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 Get back to work. Ah. Okay, I'll try this on the piano. My, um, my mother has been, um, my mother's in a care home and uh, it's been very, it's been difficult for her to, uh, to not see her family. But uh, she's kind of enjoying the, the madness and the drama of it all too. She keeps ringing and going, yeah, all right, is everything okay? Um, so in a way it's kind of keeping her, it's keeping her uh, positive and uh, it's, I, you know, I try to, I try to sort of sensitively say to her, will you, ma, will you hang on? Will you just try to get through this? Because I know for a lot of people, it's been, it's a very difficult time because they're not getting to, uh, they're not getting to properly grieve their, 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 their pass, passing of their families. And, uh, and uh, the idea of, of, of my mother passing now, and because she's very, you know, my mother's been circling the airport for a little bit. Uh, the idea of her passing now and not having not being able to properly be with her and uh, uh, anyway so I said to her I said to her uh, Ma you'll hold on won't you uh, you'll hang on and she said uh, don't worry Glenn I want me funeral I'm gonna have me funeral don't worry okay, well, I want me and I, lo I love the fact that she's 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 holding on now uh, so that we can so that when the time comes that there's a that there's a kind of a there's a proper party so we'll sing this song for all the people who haven't had that chance and for all of those who, who hopefully will, um, and this is from Ma, who I believe is watching. So. It's, it's a creative opening chord. Get out of this mess with me. 
It's good for all our talking that we have a safe spring. Or will we leave this up to chance like we do everything? A good heart's gonna find you again. A good heart will find you. Just be ready then. Tom and Felix had to play the piano and so uh, they've been fairly hammering the hell out of it <laughs> so it's, uh, it's a bit uh, Anto, I, I, I noticed that Anto, uh, our friend Anto Woods, the piano tuner is, is tuned in so Anto, uh, I, need to, I need you to come back over as soon as all this clears up and have another look, have another look at this um, this piano, we bought this piano for uh, 600 quid um, in 2005 and uh, it's uh, I can't you know I love the thing so much it's uh, I, I've had had the opportunity to buy better ones but I love this one because Marquetta and myself uh, wrote a lot of the songs for once on this piano and and this is really Marquetta's piano and so it, I, I keep it here and it's kind of uh, it's very much kind of in memory of her that it's that it stays here uh, so it's uh, so if if you're watching Mar your piano is fine it's a little bit out of tune but it'll be fine now to come and sort it out so uh, what to do next is there any request does anyone want to hear a particular song Myra you can you can read I can't see what okay well there's been many many requests uh, so um I can't say anything off the top of my mm -hmm. head. There's, there's so many. You well, see, I did uh, get a request for this gift of uh, somebody there. So we'll do that. I did notice that. Yeah. Um, the, uh, I, you know, I can't sing this song without thinking about my nieces, Amy and Sinead, because uh, every time I play this song, it's, it's, uh, they're, uh, they're in my mind and they're in my heart, and sometimes they're actually on the stage with me. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's an amazing. I'm just looking for a second, but some And so I sing this for them, and uh, 
Yes, they want to hear it anyway. They they they're watching. Oh great! Oh great! And thanks, Amy, for teaching me how to do Instagram Live. I uh, <laughs> I had no idea. We had no idea. <laughs> Maybe we'll try to do a slightly different uh, version of it. Timothy Green, um, which was a, 
um, people at Disney asked me to, to go into it. It's the first time I've ever done it, and it was a wonderful experience. To go into a cinema alone and watch a film, and there was a piano and a guitar and, and a microphone. And they said, just go in and watch the film and see what happens and see what you get. And I remember watching the film and being really moved by the... It was an early edit of the film. I remember the storyline was very beautiful. And uh, I remember coming out of the, the room with, you know, not the entire song, but with the bones of the song uh, written. And uh, I felt very pleased with it. And it really is a, it's a wonderful thing to, to get the opportunity to write songs for, for, for a particular idea of a particular project and um, uh, just over a month ago I was in Los Angeles working on a on a film soundtrack uh, with some friends and and uh, it's again a, a, a wonderful a wonderful film and a wonderful story and the people involved they're just great and I was driving driving up through the uh, Laurel Canyon up through the hills in, in, in the in the higher car and I heard, uh, I turned on the radio and I, I turned on NPR and uh, I heard Donald Trump's voice. The first thing I heard was uh, his voice saying, so he's decided to suspend all travel between Europe and America for the next 30 days. And uh, I got really, I really, I mean, you know, when the blood just goes out of your system, because I thought, well, what if I'm stuck in Los Angeles for, for, a, for a month? And uh, I, um, I got on to Howard and got on to Claire and, and uh, a friend of ours, Stephen, in Aer Lingus, uh, was able to, uh, we, we, you know, Claire stayed on the, on, on, the, on, the, on the line. She stayed on hold with Aer Lingus for three hours and basically we managed to, to get home. So I want to, you know, I just want to send out thoughts and, and uh, you know, just songs and thoughts to people who are stuck, who didn't manage to get out of wherever they are, whether it's wherever they are in the world, they didn't manage to get home. Um, I really, really considered that feeling. I thought about stealing the hire car and driving it to Chicago and shacking up with Rob Botchnik and uh, asking him, could I stay there till it all blew, blew over? Um, thankfully, I didn't have to do that. So thanks, Stephen, and thanks all the people who, who got us home, all the, the flight attendants and the people who are doing incredible work and taking real risks on their health. Um, amazing people and to all the people who are working now in the hospitals and who are on the ambulances and uh, we really really thank you and I you know I really really after this the government really needs to change its attitude to healthcare workers and nurses and teachers um, so uh, any other requests? Um, well the, 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 the asking for all sorts of wonderful songs from you know from your songs and and they're asking for heyday and ah. uh, there's many things but I also saw I think oh, I, yes, I okay. think I saw this is Matthew like... from the Pale in our garden you know, yes so. you did so did I did I see Mark Ma Ma is is Matthew there did you huh <laughs> Matthew yeah will you give us a song of course I do this is like a, this is like a, an episode of Sesame Street isn't it. <laughs> <laughs> the singer is a person in your neighborhood. In your neighborhood. Um, we're we're uh, we're really blessed to have to to live in a in a great in a tight community of musicians and we live in this big house. Uh, let, try to explain it to you. We live in this amazing big old house, uh, which is owned by this wonderful woman, Marina Guinness, who's part of the Guinness family, and. Uh, she kind of takes in strays. And I was very lucky, uh, very lucky about uh, 2004, she, she called me up and said, do you, want to, do you want somewhere to live? And we come out here and uh, we're now living in this, we're living in the kind of the servant's bit of this big old beautiful house. Uh, and it's a truly wonderful place to live. But we, we uh, you know, we've been managing to sort of inhabit it with, uh, with, with other musicians. As soon, as soon as the place comes free, we drag another musician in so we've got a wonderful collection of people in so uh matthew if you don't mind i'll introduce I'll, will you sing butterfly yeah yeah i'll do that yeah. i'll uh well maybe matthew comes closer you might closer. need to come closer i should yeah 
So when we were buskers, myself and, and, and Mick, Christopher and Mark Dignam and, and, and uh, Akko and Swanee and all the gang, when we were buskers, uh, there, was a, there was another gang of buskers who were really cool. Uh, and it was the Pale. And they had a, they had a mad, uh, they had a mad cool about them. And when, when the frames began, and, uh, there was kind of, you know, we had that tiny moment, the kind of the Blur Oasis moment uh, for a second with the pale. <laughs> uh, and, uh, and I have to say, despite all of that kind of silliness back in the early 90s, we've uh, remained great friends. And, uh, and this is one of the songs that I just truly wish I'd written and I'm very uh, uh, in love with this song. Okay, yeah? Yeah. Maybe I'll turn on the hinges of light there. Yo, oh, is that that? <laughs> Three, four. Tonight the moon is a dance glam, the world is a page. Wardrobes bulging with bones, bells I haven't paid. Ever feel like the sailor who just swallowed the sea? I better leave before I'll be a happy zombie. I am the butterfly, I shed my father's clothes. I am the butterfly. Shed my father's clothes, I am the butterfly. Shed my father's clothes. I am successfully a failure, but happy all in all. They say my instability. Is the reason I won't fall No, no, I've never been lost Always knew my way home But that vacancy of shoulders Is the reason I have flown I am the butterfly I've shed my father's clothes I am the butterfly 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 Shed my father's clothes Tonight the moon is a desk lamp, the world is a page. Waters bulging with bones, bills I haven't paid. Never feel like the sailor who just swallowed the sea. I better leave before I be a happy zombie. Shed my father's clothes, I am the butterfly. 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 Shed my father's clothes. <laughs> oh, thanks, man. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Man. Thank you, neighbor. <laughs> Thanks to all the neighbors. 
It's wonderful. Oh man. Well, listen, thanks everybody for being uh, with us. Um, I'm not really sure what to do. Uh, I was, um, I was planning to, you know, I'm turning 50 in uh, a few days on the 21st. And I was planning to go to Italy and uh, spend time with uh, all of our friends in, uh, in, in Luca. Um, all of the uh, St Sky Stoners uh, there and uh, I, I really I want to send out all of our love to them um, it's a uh, it would have been really really nice to be there but of course things went the way they went uh, yeah we're being told that there's a cutoff time for one hour okay so Is, are we nearly there we are nearly there it's, it's it's nine minutes to nine okay so one song what which song will it be um one song Uh, just before we turn to anyway, I want to say thank you to everybody from Thanks behind the that. camera. But, um, uh, yeah. I just think, I wonder if there's something we could sort of sing together. Uh. Uh, oh, let's do Hedy. Yeah. Hedy, Good yeah. idea. Myra, you wouldn't go and take a, a, a little look up at Mick there, would you? Of course. This is a Mick Christopher song called Hey Day. This is a song with every day being your best day. This is for Amy. We're expecting harmonies from the window. Thanks everybody. Hey. For the right, for the masters, oh, we come to be kind, to be warm here and after. We've been out above or back, cause we're graced in these matters and we'll ride. And we give a little love, but a sound, a sound, and get a little mist up, make a little call to the right, to the bar. So we have ourselves a break, and when we're done, down we come 
to our senses and we'll ride. Oh, and then we'll ride. And this is our heyday, baby. And this is our This is our I'd like to uh, I'd like to try to do this again if we uh, on my birthday, if, uh, if 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 the gods are with us. Um. So uh, everybody, thank you for tuning in, and I really appreciate it. That was really good fun. I was kind of nervous about it, and Mark was encouraging me to give it a go. So I'm really glad we did. And uh, you take care of yourselves, and see you very soon. Thank you. Bye.